what you're looking at are most likely Inca period walls. They may have been reconstructed. They're quite small, but across here, you see more, and across the valley, you see these quite massive terraces here. We're just outside of Oyente Tambo, which is one of the major archaeological sites, and it's where the train goes to Machu Picchu, but where I'm standing, this dirt track is an ancient Inca trail. It's actually one of the main ones that connected Oyente Tambo with the capital city of Cusco. And so where we're headed to, along this ancient Inca road, Inca trail, is a fortress that probably guarded the ancient city of Oyente Tambo from any possible people who wanted to attack the Inca. Nobody goes to this place. Actually, the main road is on the other side of the sacred river here. People go straight to Oyente Tambo and then straight to Machu Picchu. But since I live here, I'm looking for the smaller sites in order to get a bigger picture of the Inca civilization. These Inca terraces that I've been walking along were one of the great reasons why the Inca were such a uh, incredibly sophisticated and also successful civilization. But these ones here have been abandoned for at least 500 years. And so what is amazing though is that the walls are still intact after all this time, showing the marvel of Inca engineering. They were able to build terraces like this from the valley floor all the way to the tops of mountains and able to feed an estimated population of 15 million people. Also, along all major Inca roads and some minor ones, such as this, not only were there agricultural terraces, etc., but there were also tambos about every five miles or maybe 10 miles. And these were places where travelers could stop. And we just happened to have stopped at one here. Again, this has been abandoned for at least 500 years, but it's amazing that with only stone and adobe construction, it still exists. So, just to show you that Machu Picchu is very impressive, of course, but it's one of hundreds, if not thousands, of incredible sites in Peru that you can explore. And then once in a while on these journeys, you stumble across something like this. This massive cutout from this big block of stone. And of course, uh, most people will say, well, that's an Inca throne, or that's where a priest did ceremony, but there are literally thousands of these. Thousands of outcrops that are cut like this, not only in Cusco, and the Sacred Valley, but in other places in the highlands of Peru. They're very curious. Uh, the greatest researcher in the area, Jesus Gamara, who has been working on behalf of his father, Alfredo, who worked in this area 40 or 50 years, believes that this is called Hanan Pacha, which means the first world. Things like this were created by a civilization far before the Inca, as in thousands of years. And finally, as we're leaving this site, Tomorrow, going to Machu Picchu, you see these staircases, classic Inca stairways. And some of you might say, well, all of this, uh, this stone wall work looks pretty primitive. The Inca were more sophisticated. Well, that's the subject of another video. The Inca were masters of agriculture, masters of uh, civil coordination, masters of military. But some of the structures that are attributed 
to be Inca, such as the walls where you can't fit a human hair in between the stones, those are pre-Inca from a lost civilization. Check